America, the most powerful nation in the world, was founded on Christian values, yet there are millions of people living without hope. You can change that. Nearly 35 million Americans live in hungry or food insecure households, but a spiritual hunger also pervades countless homes in America. People need Jesus. Travel through virtually every community in the United States and you'll be surrounded by people who have never been exposed to Christ's love. We can change that, but to do so, we must get out of the church and onto the streets. of groceries, health screenings, haircuts, job fairs, entertainment, a carnival, but most importantly, the presentation of the gospel through both word and action, along with a strong connection to local churches. That's what Convoy of Hope community outreaches are all about. Since we've begun conducting these one-day community-wide events, we've seen more than a million people receive real help. But we've also seen more than 200,000 people receive Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Well, I got up this morning to come get two bags of groceries, but I'm going back home a saved person. I really can't put it into words, but I just feel hopeful. It's just, this is what I've been searching for, and I really, truly feel that I found it today. It's really a big help. You guys don't know how much of a big help this, this is for everybody. It's like a blessing, really, to be honest with you. Hope is always in need of people like you who are willing to help bring hope to those in need and to those who feel helpless. Your generous donation of time is greatly appreciated and will last for eternity. Together we bring hope to people in need. Today I committed to Jesus Christ and um, I've been invited to a church tomorrow. Um, I forgot the name of it but I know it's uh, 2401 East Fayette Street. And um, I, I told um, the pastor I didn't have nothing to wear, and he told me to just come on because God don't see, see my outside. He's looking at my inside, and that made me feel really good, you know, because I've been going through a lot of things, and it's made me feel good today just to be here, be around different kind of peoples, and spend some time with my grandson and my son. And um, I just really enjoyed myself today. These are tears of joy because I'm, I'm happy. I don't feel bad no more. I, I feel good today. Today I feel good and I feel it's all right today.